Good morning, love yourself to wealthers. Welcome to prepping for the big cleanse, the March numerology tips for you. Uh, we're doing a bit of a forecast today and diving into what you can expect. And uh, so again, we're welcoming you to the prepping for the big cleanse, March numerology tips. I'm not sure if that got cut off already. Um, having some technical challenges and you can definitely expect those coming into this new month. So we're already feeling this energy come in and uh, maybe you've been experiencing some technical issues. It, it's, it's a big energy. It's an energy of, um, an energy of completions and endings and, and, and it's very powerful and amplified. And so because of that, that can affect the technology a bit too. So patience will be required. And uh, like I said, we're already feeling this come in. So hello, hello, welcome everybody. Welcome to all the Love Yourself to Wealthers. I'm so happy to be here on this Saturday afternoon with you and or evening or morning whatever it is where you are in the world and uh, and if you're joining us on the replay welcome to the replay as well i'm really excited about sharing this information with you ahead of time so that you can prepare as best that you can because this is going to be a really powerful month coming up in march uh, it is the nine energy month and um, the nine is like, like I was sharing about completions and endings, but it's also initiation and graduation into what's new. So, hey, Doreen, Ashley, Lisa, good to see you guys. So, um, so you know, ask questions if you want to, as we go along or if something doesn't make sense or, you know, you want more information about something, just, you know, pop it in the comments section and I'll, I'll do my best to keep up with the comments. Um, so I usually type out my notes and this energy in February, we've been in so much momentum, things have moved so fast, didn't happen. So I'm gonna do my best to muddle through my chicken scratching here and, um, and keep you guys you know, on track and informed in a timely manner. So, so there are several themes coming up this month for us. And um, one, I, I pulled, um, I pulled some cards to just kind of get some more clarity in addition to the numerology around the themes. And, you know, one of the themes is, is about um, really, it was called harmonic flight and it was the 11. And the 11 is the um, higher version of the two, which is all about like the higher version, meaning more spiritual ver version of the two. So spiritually expansive about unity consciousness and seeing the divine in the eyes of, of another. And, you know, in our relationships, um, you know, deep bonds, karmic connections, um, clearing illusory projections, life-changing connections could be possible this month for you. And, um, and really, um, you know, removing your heart armor. I feel like, you know, with the Venus influence this month, which is really strong, we're going to be um, feeling a big heart opening happening again. There was one on the 22nd uh, this past week, which was massive. And, um, and we're in our collective Venus season right now. There's seven seasons in the year and Venus is very much about emotions. It's about heart opening. Um, I'm wearing my green, the color green supports the heart chakra. And, um, and so that's something that you can do this month to help support you. But it's really about, you know, opening up to seeing that we're all one and that, you know, every person in front of you is reflecting you back to you. There's no separation. There's no um, us and them. And, you know, we're seeing things rise up in the world where the exacerbation of the illusion of separation is really in our face. You know, we we saw the world start a war this week and, you know, war is nothing new to us. And yet um, it's it's something that is, you know, really, um, I would say, affecting us on a larger scale now more than ever because more people are conscious that it's so out of um, alignment with where we're heading and what we're um, 
what we're really starting to embrace more and more as a collective as our consciousness expands and increases collectively. And so I think, um, you know, it's, it's been very strongly felt. And, oh, you have, you've been feeling your heart expanding this week. Yeah, definitely, big, big heart expansions. So we're focusing on collapsing karma on a personal level too and collectively. And, you know, it'll keep, if, if you don't take the steps needed to collapse your karma, it's going to keep repeating. And you really don't want to go through this next cycle dragging that with you. We're not meant to, you know, anyone who's watching this, this broadcast is meant to be moving forward um, rapidly into what we're creating the new world and leading the way. And so, um, you know, if you've still got any sort of karmic stuff that's been holding you back, this is definitely the month to collapse that, to let it go, um, to move past that. And, you know, um, like I said, life-changing co connections are possible this month. There's the another theme that I pulled was, you know, this um, and it's kind of tied into this first theme is, you know, life changing experiences, um, divine timing, significant timing. This is, um, you know, allowing the pivotal moments. There's like a, a, a we're we're you know breaking through the nine is breakthrough energy. It's transformation. It's transmutation. And this is a big theme for this month. And so allowing those things to occur, endings must occur for new beginnings. We cannot resist the endings and expect to have the great experiences that we want to have in life. We have to be willing to let go of what was. And this month is going to be a very, very strong, amplified letting go of a lot of things. There are a lot of things that we've been accustomed to for our whole entire lives are coming to an end and we'll either see those endings happening or we will become a greatly aware of those endings happening but the the endings that are occurring can be very abrupt they can be very jarring if you're not expecting them and so you know going into the month understanding that this is part of the cycle of life this is part of the, um, the divine timing cycle of creation, that we have to create endings to create that vacuum. You have to clear a space in order to receive more. If you're full already, you can't receive more. And so anything that's coming to an ending this month is a blessing and it is in our best and highest good, even if it doesn't appear to be so at the time. And so being able to see it with those eyes, being able to see it with the bigger picture in mind of where we're headed and, and the new world that we're creating is going to be of utmost importance in order to be able to navigate this month with grace. So um, highly recommend that you do um, whatever kind of things you need to do to help quell anxiety about things that might be happening, um, you know, whether you have a meditation practice or, you know, um, yoga practice or whatever whatever it is that you do to calm yourself tapping eft tapping anything like that can be super super helpful if you find yourself resisting some of the things that that you're being presented with um, because it will be a big month for clearing and endings but you know there's a great I'll, I'll talk about this in a few minutes but there's great ways to take advantage of this and really um leverage this energy to uh, clear out a lot of things that that are not serving you so um, you're also going to be you're also also going to be seeing the bigger picture and so seeing the bigger picture of things is going to help you be more connected um, on a universal level on a consciousness level um, with the ethereal world the, that seeing the bigger picture in the you know from the ethereal perspective but then also being able to lay that overlay that onto our physical world so that you can you're, you're going to be able to see if if you're willing to see you're going to be able to see the bigger picture of what's happening and that's going to help you come into a lot more acceptance and um, move through the the month with grace because you're going to actually feel a sense of celebration, 
because things are completing that need to go that have never been serving us that we've been you know under the illusion that they have but they're really not and so that's a big um thing that's going to happen this month and you know some of the things that can help you connect are like ecstatic dance or you know different types of spiritual exploration nine is about meditation it's about um you know uh um doing a different intuitive creative pursuits things like that there's a lot of high creative energy this month as well and so anything that's going to help open you up and help connect you to the divine is going to help you to stay in that bigger picture perspective which will be really good to serve you and then the third theme is of course um, what we've been talking about for ages now the importance of expressing your truth and you know opening up that throat chakra speaking your truth sharing your truth whether you write it you speak it you paint it however you share your truth however you allow that to come through that's going to be very important the other thing that you know around all of these themes that is important this month and it, it continues to be because this is a year where we're really facing this you know about ourselves but especially with this venus influence is the, the the releasing of the codependence and you know seeing new layers and new layers and new layers of where we are putting other people places or things as greater than ourself as more important than ourself um, this sense of belonging is also extremely important again this month and you know the nine can can tend to have people um, in a energy of, of, of thinking they need to isolate, of wanting to isolate, of thinking they have to do everything themselves. And we are being called to community and to really coming together and supporting one another, giving the support and receiving the support. The nine is about service. So, you know, being of service this month in any way you can to others, but also allowing others to be in service to you. There's this balance that wants to occur, this rebalancing of giving and receiving and, you know, really allowing the flow. Nine is about flow and, you know, prepping you for the one, the new. And um, if we're out of balance anywhere, and this is what the karmic stuff is about too, is, you know, bringing things back into balance. And this whole year is about this, but this month, nine is really teaching us about that flow and to allow the natural flow of things and to trust the natural flow of things and to move through life with grace instead of resistance and so um as things are occurring this month you know the more you can accept them and move through that process of of, of awareness acceptance forgiveness self-responsibility if you're a brain gamer that's the first half of the brain game it's all about that you want to use those tools because this is going to help you to collapse the karma to release anything that still needs to be released in a way that is easy it's graceful it's um, flowing and it's fast you can do it quickly and then move forward because there's a lot of forward movement in this month so let's get into that because um, there's you know a couple of, of um, significant there's a new moon the full moon that are very very powerful this month um, there's going to be a lot of emotional um, emotions rising up between the the first part of the month and the full moon time so be prepared for that until we go into Aries pretty much which is around the 21st 22nd of the month will be very very emotional and so um, emotional mastery is also key and if you haven't taken the brain game I am starting around next uh, a week from Tuesday which is the 8th to help people through this because we're going to be going through those first weeks that are going to take you through and help you through all of this emotional stuff so message me or let me know in the comments if you want more information about that because it will be a big help if you've never done it before or if you've taken it with me before you can retake it again and 
you know, join in and get that group support. And group support is going to be really, really um, important this month, more than ever, because this is, again, allowing each other to support, you know, supporting other people and allowing them to support you. Surrounding yourself with the people who are headed in the direction you want to go. So you want to surround yourself with people who are on the spiritual path, on this path to higher consciousness, on the... Um, you know, on the same trajectory that you are to move forward, to help lead, to help lead this consciousness shift. And you will find that that will keep you very focused on the big picture, which is where you want to be. If you're spending too much time around people who don't get it, you're going to have some challenges and maybe your energy, your vibe is going to be pulled down into, you know, lower levels where it could they could make this this month a little bit challenging so make sure that you're surrounding yourself daily with people who are headed in the direction that you want to go fill your ears and your eyes with the things that you want to create and you you want to focus on and you know i'm not saying that you have to be completely detached from everything that's going on and not watch the news at all but i would definitely minimize it if you haven't done that already really important to do right now and if you do partake in it i highly recommend you do it with a um with an observer perspective observing it instead of living in it and getting caught in it so if you're a meditator you understand what i mean by that observer per perspective of you know not being in it but just seeing it for what it is and and also taking it with a grain of salt because we know by now that most of the news outlets that are available are twisting things are making things up are you know skewing things and so there you know you have to use your discernment um, discernment will be available at a very high rate as usual um, and i say as usual because this whole year very intuitive so it's about trusting that intuition that you have if you feel like something's off or something doesn't resonate you need to trust yourself and that is a big part about letting go of this codependence that i was talking about you know we're talking about moving in and stepping into our sovereignty and trusting ourselves and trusting our um our heart more than anything else above and, and beyond anybody else's influence and then we consider what other people are saying or doing or you know and and check that with ourselves and see if it resonates and if it resonates great and if it doesn't great just know that and be very conscious of that that's what we're being called to so the there's um a few other points about what we're focusing on you know surrendering to receiving support and love i already talked about that surrendering denial about things so acceptance full acceptance of what's what's occurring there's going to be a lot of things revealed this month again in the collective um, and in your personal world that may be surprising to you um, may be unexpected and you know, coming into acceptance as quickly as possible around those things is going to help you. And then surrendering to the idea that miracles can happen, letting go of resistance and doubts about miracles being possible and really leaning into what's possible, leaning into the bigger picture, the bigger picture from a universal perspective, not just, um, not just you know, what you, th you think you can imagine, but way beyond anything you can imagine. Is that possible? It, are there things possible that you may not have even thought of yet? And that's, um, that's really key. You know, I've been playing around with this nine energy for months now in preparation for this. And I now see the blessing in it because I've had it in my personal chart for months. And it's been very challenging for me when I've been in resistance. And it's been amazing for me when I've gone with the flow and been able to be in the flow and acceptance and, and, um, and just trust, right? So it's really important to, to believe in miracles, to trust in miracles, to know that anything is possible, and that will really help you move through this month. We are completing this month the year of 2021. 
we uh, have been in this first two months of the year, we've still been in the energy of 2021 in many ways. Although we felt some of the new year come in and the influence with it, we are, are cyclically finishing the year 2021 this month in, in March. And so um, it's preparing us for the new that's coming in to really kick off 2022 in April. And I love how this is actually, you know, totally coinciding with spring, which is, you know, all about the rebirth. And this is really, really more than more than maybe you've ever experienced in your lifetime is this rebirth energy into something completely new. Like I am not, I, there's no words strong enough to explain how strong this rebirth energy is and how much, if, how many things are coming to an ending this coming month and how much newness is coming in and the vast scope of that newness. When I was talking about miracles and, you know, having that be just, um, just beyond what we can imagine and so there's just going to be a lot of new things coming in and some things you know that are coming in may not seem good or they may not resonate with you can you accept them anyway and you know i mean even like technology things or you know whatever some some things may be coming in that you might have a little resistance to but the thing is whether you resist them or not they're they're here and they're they're going to be here they're going to be part of this so I'm not saying you have to embrace all of the new stuff coming in, but definitely accept that it's going to be part of um, the collective experience going forward, and that will make it easier. I see so many wonderful faces here. I'm just going to take a breath and, and take a look at the chat here. My goodness, everybody's here. Ashley and Veronica and Samantha, Helen, the other Ashley, Christine and Chantel, nice to see you guys. So wonderful to connect with you guys on this Saturday. It's just a, it's a fabulous weekend. There's so much energy available to us this weekend. And I hope you guys are really purpose focused this weekend because it's all about, you know, expressing your purpose. And if you're not clear on it, being willing to discover it this weekend in preparation for what's coming, because I haven't even, covered half of it yet. I mean, there's so much coming this month. It's crazy. So let's talk about how the month starts. So we're opening up the month on a one energy day with a nine of spades contract. And that is all about, um, that is all about shifting and creating what's new in this, in, in a spiritual perspective, but also in a physical it's every aspect of your life basically is going to change. And that's really what that that energy that we're kicking off the month with is, is saying and um, you know we're bringing endings to and releasing what no longer serves us that nine of spades is really about releasing everything that's out of alignment and so imagine that on a collective level and then you know personal level so I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about health because health is going to be a theme this month as well there's there's no part of your life that's not going to be brought up this month there's you know everything from from health and the physical body to your spiritual health your emotional health your mental health and you know your financial health everything is going to be around this this month and every aspect of your life is going to be um up for review and um and release and so physically, I wanted to let you guys know what the best days to cleanse are because I would highly recommend doing a cleanse. Um, if you check in with your body first though, always, and make sure that it wants that. However, you have an opportunity this month to really upgrade your health. There's some really powerful days that you can choose and, um, and some cleanses that I can recommend because I used to be a holistic health coach and um and you know why i'm recommending those particular ones so the best cleanse dates are to do it in nine day increments the first nine day increment i would recommend is the um the first through the ninth and the second nine day increment i would recommend is the 10th through the 18th and both of those um increments will they have a um emphasis contract emphasis on the physical body and so 
Those are really good uh, chunks of time to do a cleanse, especially if your birthday is in March or April. I highly recommend asking your body if it wants to do some sort of cleanse. And, you know, cleanses can vary from, you know, um, really mild to really um, advanced, right? And so, you know, it's not that you have to do anything extreme, but you definitely want to do something to upgrade your health, upgrade the food that you're putting in your body. Um, I recommend, I actually, I love the, some of the medical medium cleanses, especially because they're based on numerology. And so I like his 369 cleanse, especially for this month, because these nine day periods, they're, they're, it's a nine day cleanse. He has three versions of it. So one is much more simple. He calls it simplified. Then there's the original and the advanced. And you know whatever one of those is calling to you, if they are, I highly recommend them. I don't agree with everything he teaches, but I have done a lot of his protocols in the past. And this could be very powerful for this month to try out that cleanse. Um, I meant to grab the book, but he has a book called Cleanse to Heal, or you can, um, I, ha I recommend that one because he has all three versions of the cleanse in that book, plus some other cleansing options. You might try the um, heavy metal detox cleanse or, you know, the morning cleanse. There's, he has different ones. So you could look in that and see if any of those call to you, or if you have a favorite cleanse, if you want to do a juice fast or a water fast or something like that. Although if you plan to do that, I would get medical supervision if you're going to go nine days, um, unless you've done it before and you're well versed in this. Um, if you're not used to cleansing, go with something simple. Just um, bring some more healthy things into your life or cut some things out because it's about releasing and endings, right? If you've had a, a bad habit of you know, eating too much fat or sugar or caffeine, or you know what, you know what your thing is. So if you have a thing and you know that it's not serving your body, or if you tune into your body and it's saying, I don't want this anymore, and you're finding it challenging to let go of it, this energy is going to support you in letting go of that. So, you know, making that commitment to doing that at the new moon, which is on the second and you can make that commitment but start your cleanse on the first or start it on the 10th for the most powerful results and um, i will be doing more in the group to uh, support you guys in that if you let me know in the comments and you want that oh veronica you have the i love thyroid healing it's a great book so um yeah he he has some good stuff but there's tons of cleanses that you know the, there's the um Oh, uh, I can't think of the name of it now. And the master cleanse, that's, that's a water fast. And you know you could try doing that one um, or if you've done that before. Um, so there's so many options. Uh, Tyler Tolman has a fasting group to juice fast. You can get support for juice fasting in there. I mean, I can recommend all kinds of stuff. I know all of this stuff. So um, that was like my whole previous life before what I do now. So <laughs> if you guys want you know, help on that, just put it in the comments. But it's a really powerful time to do that. And you know, we're, we're, our bodies are gonna be calling for extra support this month. And so any way that you can support your body, um, even committing to um, maybe a, an exercise program or something like that, um, you know, whatever's going on in your physical health. But if you're looking for a huge transformation in your physical health, you can definitely have it. And you can definitely uh, put uh, some, some big um, shift to that this month if you take advantage of these dates that I'm talking about, because um, you know, I healed myself from multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, and so many things, anxiety, depression, OCD, PCD, PTSD, so many things. So, um, so Veronica has some, some ideas for detoxing and cleansing too. So you can touch base with Veronica as well. Thanks for posting that, Veronica. So yeah, there's there's so many options, and I I have recommendations too for for practitioners that do things. If you, um, you know, that I've personally worked with, and if you you know need help with that, just comment, and we can support each other in this. 
but um, the body is going to be asking for a lot of support. Why? Because releasing can be stressful. It, there can be a kick up of anxiety this month that, and with all the emotions coming up this month, we're really going to want to support our body and pay attention to our body. And what we're being asked to do, and we've been asked to do all year, and if you've been in resistance to this, you know it because you've been experiencing issues coming up in areas of your life. So we're being asked to create balance in our life that we need to, we can't just be focused on work or purpose. We can't just be focused on health. We can't just be focused on finances. We can't just be focused on family. We've got to find a balance for all of it. And this isn't about being superwoman or superman. It's about finding the balance in that in working in the new way, doing things in the new way. We're being brought into a new way of living and a new way of doing that is vastly different night and day from what we were originally programmed to do and believe. And so, you know, life is meant to be easy and flowing. And when we take intuitive heart inspired actions, we know what our next step is at every moment. We're checking in with our bodies. We're checking in with our hearts. We're, you know, knowing what to do. And the more we can come into living in that, the more we have that balance that is being called for us to have. And so when you're, when you're having physical symptoms in the body or you're having symptoms in your bank account or you're having symptoms in your relationship, you know there's something out of balance. And that's where you know we're gonna be shown that even greater this month is if there are things out of balance, they're gonna be they're gonna be corrected. And if you don't take the initiative to correct them earlier in the month, they will be corrected for you. And it may not be in a way that you would prefer. So it's better to be a little proactive about that. So, um, so that's the thing about the physical body. Um, there's, you know, anxiety, fear, control, codependence, confusion. These are some of the mental, emotional things that can be rising. And of course, then, you know, there would be physical symptoms that usually result if you get too caught up in that. So meditation, contemplation, things that are calming to you are really, are, are really helpful. That new moon on the second is in Pisces. It's uh, 12 degrees of Pisces. And so that's a three energy, which is the amplification. And it's on a two energy day with eight of spades contract. So, you know, there's gonna be massive amplification and momentum with this full moon. And Pisces is all about emotions. And then we're in our Venus, which is also emotions. So that's why I say, massive emotional energy coming up. And you've already been feeling this coming in because we started our Venus period about a week ago. So you're feeling this and it's going to be very amplified right as, the, as, as that new moon comes in and st kicks off the month. And so, you know, this is gonna be about really making that decision to let go of what anyone else thinks of you, stepping into your true power and purpose. This is about true personal power and sovereignty. And we've been talking about this for some time now, but this is it, like, this is the moment of completion. This is the moment of really stepping up into this, facing your fears, healing, deciding to be devoted to you first, because if you're not devoted to you first, who will be? You have to take care of yourself first. You have to be in your truth and authenticity before you can impact the world in the way that you desire to do. And so expression of your higher purpose, which is to love. Your higher purpose is to love, to love yourself and to love others. And so in order to come into alignment with that, there's gonna be a big focus on self-love this month. And um, really any areas where you've been criticizing, judging um, you know, yourself and other people, that's gonna come to the, the, the forefront. You're really gonna see it. It's really gonna be in your face and where other people have been doing that with you and really being able to let all of that go and move move past that and know that you know you you, you find everything you need with inside yourself that is the real key here and so you know this is the other reason why health rises up as a theme as well because you know all of this emotional stuff if you don't know how to process your emotions 
you need to learn how to do that. Join the brain game on the 8th because you're going to need that extra help and support. Um, you know, find an EFT practitioner. We have so many in the group or, or someone who can, you know, help you in other methodologies, sound healing. We've got all kinds of stuff. And sound healing is actually a, a big supportive theme for this group that's watching this broadcast. So if you um, go to my YouTube channel, I've got a lot of free um, sound healing uh videos available there that you can tap into and I can also uh, recommend a good sound healer if I can maybe I'll bring one in to the group um, during this month I'll see what I can put together for you guys to support you then you know we come up to the full moon in Virgo on the 18th and that is also massively amplified because we've got the full moon in 27 degrees of Virgo and 27 is the nine so amplified completion energy and um, this is also on a nine energy day with a five of diamonds contract so you've got a lot of nine happening there you've got triple nine that's massive amplification of completion so this full moon is going to be super powerful super emotional um, it's again, um, you know, that um, shift in physical body, which is why it's a great day to complete a cleanse because there's that um, completion, graduation, transformation, transmutation of the physical, um, lots of change there with that five of diamonds. Um, and it's, it's also, um, you know, about the money systems, the, the things in the physical world coming to a completion. We're going to see a lot of things coming to an ending at this point or the reveal of the ending coming to this at this point. Um, it's going to be a very emotional full moon again, like I said, because we're still going to be in that Venus energy and full moons are generally more emotional anyway. And with all the amplification and changes and all of that it could be um it could be quite emotional there could be um anger stirring up all kinds of things so um be conscious of that and you know process your emotions use your tools um self-worth balance with humility is going to be a theme for this um full moon and all throughout between that new moon and the full moon, you see the, the connection between the two. Letting go of perfectionism and expectations, judgment, criticism, all of that kind of stuff is going to be a theme. Balancing between the cosmic and the mundane world, and which is what we've been talking about. Letting go of worry, anxiety, expectations. With all this nine energy, focus on being of service. Being of service at this full moon, being of service this month is really a key theme and allowing others to be of service to you as well. Uh, because that is a way to be of service to others is to allow them to give too. If you're always giving, you're not in balance and you're not allowing the natural flow of things. Um, decluttering. So energy clearing, feng shui, um, you know, getting rid of things in your physical environment that no longer serve you. There's going to be a big theme of this all month, but definitely around this full moon. Um, you're going to see, you know, more people are going to be clearing stuff away, redecorating. Um, there'll be a constant shift of that all year, but you're going to definitely see that heightened this month and, and definitely at this full moon, that desire to get rid of stuff, you know, declutter and and clear clear your physical space again clearing the body so you know with the with the cleansing and all of that that's very focused on the physical body as well and um and and you know really shifting your 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 physical health so that's going to be a big theme there forgiveness and acceptance and self-responsibility so massive day and and you know the surrounding days to work on clearing karma accepting things, letting go, forgiveness. Because the day before this full moon, we've got a very amplified karmic energy coming in as well. And so um, we definitely want to be conscious of that around this time and get yourself grounded. Grounding is going to be a big theme around this full moon as well. And then, you know, when we um, go past the full moon into the remainder of the month, we're going to be moving into very mental energy again you're feeling that mental energy right now with the eight million people all having this high level of amplified mental energy 
Well, that's going to be coming again in the end of the month as we enter into the Aries portion of the month. And, um, and that will also, re, you know, re, um, uh, it's going to be more of a rebirth period as, as opposed to the first three weeks of the month, which are focused on cleansing and clearing and all of that. We're going to start to feel more of that transformation and to be able to start seeing some, uh, the miracles can start coming in anytime, but w I think we're going to see some more of that coming in during that um, second half of the month there and, you know, seeing things manifest in the physical world that we've been um, calling in, that we've been working on creating either personally or as a collective. And again, some of the things may not appear the way we expect them to be. So nine says, let go of those expectations and allow the miracles, trust in what's presenting, trust that, you know, whatever's coming through is, is what is in our our best and highest good and what's going to move us forward and use your discernment with that use your intuition with that feel into it does this feel aligned with me you know you'll know if something's off you'll know if you need to pivot um the nine's gonna bring in i talked about this kind of at the beginning some disruptions in technology functionality so you know if you um let go of of frustrations be open to other ways to communicate and have other ways to communicate available. Um, I would say especially in this second half of the month with so much focus on um, mental activity and communication, Jonah alluded to this in their um, annual forecast. You know, this is, um, there could be some disruptions on social media, messages disappearing or not getting through. Um, you know, there could be some blackout periods or, you know, some more um, censorship things happening, um, different things like that that may come up. So have alternative means to connect with people and be open to that with others. So. I'm going to invite you guys to message me your email addresses, your phone numbers if you want, just so that we can stay connected even if something happens with this group or something happens you know, where we can't get on Messenger or whatever, because I do a lot of my communications through Facebook and um, and I realize now like that could really be a problem this month and going forward this year. So um, I do want to make sure we stay connected. So if you're open to that, and I highly recommend you be open to that both for your own business and when others offer you that opportunity to connect in multiple ways. Um, also, you know, another option is to, you know, go to my uh, link in my bio and connect with me in the other areas on social media so that we can stay connected. If one goes down, we can go to another. I have lots of different accounts all over the place. I have TikTok, I have Instagram, I have Twitter, I have YouTube. So, you know, there's lots of different options. And then I've got my email list and we've got this Love Yourself to Wealth group. So we do have a lot of different options to connect. Um, and I highly recommend you start connecting through them because I don't want to lose connection with you. And so, um, you know, let's do that. Let's connect in those other spaces so that we can um, see the internet went wacky. <laughs> Exactly. So there's a lot of this happening now and, and you may need to upgrade some of your technology this month as well because um, there may just be a need for that. I know a lot of companies are shifting their technology um, availability and you know 3G is going away and so you may need to upgrade your phone, you may need to upgrade your router and modem. There's things that could happen around that so but nothing that we can't manage, right? We we've done mercury retrograde we can handle this right so that's um just kind of an aside and um and then you know we're being prepped in that second half of the month to because we're going to come into april boom with a new beginning there's a new moon on the first day of april in aries it's all about rebirth and new beginnings and um, leaping forward, leaping ahead, and you know, leaping into the unknown with with full on trust, commitment to purpose, and so this whole second half of the month is going to be prepping us for that, and um, and changing the way that we communicate and think, especially on the twenty third, we're going to see that come in 
this change in the way we think and communicate with others, um, which we've been working on honing our skills around. We're going to continue to do that and really paying attention to that and focusing on that for yourself and noticing um, what works and what doesn't and what needs to shift in how you think and communicate with others before we get into the next Mercury retrograde season, which will start feeling in the end of April, although it doesn't actually begin until um, the second week of May. So, you know, now's your chance to um, take advantage of the weeks we have left with no planets in retrograde. Everything is moving forward very quickly, even though we're in this nine energy. And that's what makes this nine very different than other nines that we've had, other nine energy months that we've experienced. And so, um, you know, because we have no planets in retrograde, things are moving forward very rapidly. The transformation's happening very rapidly. Um, nine also is about, you know, resting. And so you're going to want to make sure that you're taking care of yourself and getting enough rest, even though things are moving quickly and, um, and taking care of yourself that way. Now, the one thing we haven't talked about, which is actually really important this month is purpose and purpose is a big theme. And um, has been a big theme and you know I told you your purpose is to love and how you express that love is individual and authentic and unique to you and your personal coding gifts and strengths and if you don't know what that is yet hit me up for a divine purpose blueprint reading because it will help you this month to be discover your purpose and be able to come more in alignment with that as you're releasing you'll understand why certain things need to go and you'll understand what to tap into to mm, leverage the energies to your benefit so that you can really step up and be of service in a way that is using all of your unique gifts and talents and really um creating that fulfillment in your life that you desire by 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 doing that you know nine is also not just about endings and completions it is celebration because we're celebrating that you know we've completed a cycle we're completing 2021 we're completing this whole thing with the um i don't want to say the words for the um algorithm but i i you know the completion of what's been happening the past two years with health and uh well-being and all of that and we're getting into that stage where we're really coming to a completion with that and that is something to really celebrate that is really something to celebrate and we're you know going to be moving forward into what's totally new the focus is going to be off of this um, even if um, everything about it doesn't quite go away yet the uh, the focus is going to be off it things are going to feel more relaxed around it and that is something to celebrate i i am very much looking forward to that and so um but this back to the purpose thing you know there is a um a focus of and we're in it right now we're feeling it come in we've got a lot of momentum this weekend to if you haven't discovered your purpose yet or if you do know what your purpose is deepening that um expression of it and coming into this new moon with a resolve and a intention and a decision to really um really lead with sovereignty lead with um with surety with confidence with um with knowingness of this is who i am and this is what i'm here to do and um and trusting like you are here to lead this consciousness shift and really um really stepping up into that if you have been honing that for a while and if you're just discovering it the willingness because we're talking about letting go of resistance so the willingness to step into that and actually taking some actions toward it so divine purpose blueprint brain game um you know what can you do to um to to step into the spiritual aspect the higher purpose uh, bigger picture realm of what you're here to do and so um, you know any type of spiritual studies or expansions are um, definitely highlighted this month and again keeping yourself surrounded in community with other people doing that 
very, very important. So let me check the comments. Let me know if you guys have um, questions about anything I presented. Let's see. So, uh, good question, Veronica. So she asked, what can we do about what's happening on the other side of the world? I keep sending love, but what else can we do? So why do you think, I guess my question for you is, why do you think sending love isn't effective? Because it's, it's so powerful when we're doing this on a, on a group scale, when we're doing this um, as a, a collective of spiritually minded, um, awake and aware individuals, we are creating a massive shift. We are impacting the collective consciousness every time we're tapped into the vibration of love and abundance and wealth. And every time we love ourselves more, we are affecting the whole collective consciousness. So what can you do? Keep the focus on love, loving yourself. Remember I said that the, the, the theme for this month is more self-love because it's through that self-love that we create wealth and abundance in our own lives and can then spread it out to the rest of the world. But if we're not in that state of love ourselves, and if we don't truly love ourselves, if we're still thinking negative thoughts, critical thoughts, shaming, blaming, judging ourselves, we're doing it with other people. And all of that ripples out into the collective consciousness. So the best thing that we can do is affect the collective consciousness through more love. Love is always the answer. More love is always the answer. And it is powerful. It is the most powerful creation energy that we can tap into, except for kundalini sexual energy, which is a little bit more tricky and dangerous to try and tap into. It's very powerful. And it is going to be a theme for this month in terms of fertility, rebirth, um, creation energy. And yet love is the, the um, it's, a, it's a safer energy to tap into and it's a very powerful energy to tap into to create the world we want. So focusing on creating what you want and it's, it's like you're not ignoring what's going on, you're actually focusing on creating a new world. And so focusing on what you want to see happen in those other parts of the world and what you want to see happen in your own part of the world is actually doing what we need to do. It's really the, the biggest thing that we can do is to be of service in that way by loving ourselves first and then allowing others to love us too and loving others. This, this exchange of love is, it can create such an amplification and I really can't stress enough how powerful it is. It sounds, you know, all love and light and everything, but it's actually super powerful when you start with yourself first. And I think that's where the old um, new age love and light community uh, missed the mark a lot is that there was a lot of spiritual bypassing going on back then when that was a big thing. This is different because we're not bypassing. We're feeling our feelings. We're accepting them. We're processing them. We're shifting them. We're doing things differently now. We're living in a different way. And that's why it makes a difference to do it that way. So let me know if that resonates with you and if that's helpful. Um, does anyone else have any questions before I wrap up here about the month and what we can do? I'm going to be um, my, my plan and my intention is to have some different um, uh, workshops and things available this month to help support you guys through the group here. Um, with, uh, I also have a background in feng shui. I have, a, because I'm a really number 10, I've had a lot of um, uh, different uh, careers and experiences. So I can bring a lot of different things to this month, which I think will be really beneficial to the group because. Um, I know a lot about a lot of different things and this month is really asking us to look at everything, look at the big picture. And so um, I'm going to be bringing that in. Um, so we'll be talking about feng shui and clearing, space clearing and things like that, creating a more harmonious space for yourself. Um, you know, we'll be talking about the, the cleansing, the physical cleansing. We'll be talking about being on purpose and 
also you know moving through acceptance forgiveness how to collapse karma all of that kind of stuff so if any of those things uh really speak to you and you um or if there's something else i haven't mentioned that you feel like you want support on please let me know in the comments or let me know in the group and i will be more than happy to bring that in i've got tons and tons of wisdom and experience that i'm just chomping at the bit to share with you guys and so um i'm looking forward to what this month brings and um being of service to you guys in that way so you are welcome and if you're some if you are a practitioner and you have something you want to share and maybe want to collaborate in the group send me a message and we'll um we'll connect and we'll talk about it and see what's possible that we can bring forward so i'm definitely open to that as well connections and collaborations you guys are so welcome thank you for joining live and for those of you who are on the replay as well thank you for being here and um you know let's stay connected let's support each other this month and uh and really uh welcome in all of the newness all of the endings all of the new beginnings celebrate it all because we are moving into the new worlds that we're that we've been working on creating for quite some time here so have a beautiful rest of your weekend and i will see you again soon bye bye for now